Hello Scorpio, welcome to my channel, Victoria here at Radiant Moon Tarot. We are here doing your August 2022 love reading. This is for any of you in a current romantic partnership. If it comes up, we will address it, a temporary separation from your person. If you are single and looking for new love, please stay tuned. I will have separate readings just for you guys. So uh, keep in mind, this is a general reading. Not everything that comes out will resonate with all of you. Take the parts that do Leave the rest behind for someone else. And you may also want to check out your moon rising. Thank you. And Venus sign readings as well. For some more information, cross watchers are welcome as well because you may be looking at your person's reading here as well. All right. So let's see where we go here. Uh, we have starting out with imagine. It's time to turn your dreams into reality here, folks. What are you thinking of? What are you dreaming of? What are you hoping for? Get out of your head and start to take some action. This can also represent something that you have been daydreaming about, maybe about to come true. Okay, so how do you turn your dreams, your visions into reality? Hmm? Uh, for some of you, you might need a little bit of help. Maybe you need to take some initiative or maybe you need to get something out in the open. We also have a leg up for you that's coming in here. Now, this is a reminder that partnerships are meant to be um, reciprocate, reciprocated. Okay, uh, how do I wanna say that? Um, this is the energy of I'll scratch your back, you scratch mine. Okay, um, that symbiotic kind of relationship where you're both benefiting, where you're both getting something. So the leg up comes as a reminder that, um, you know, that sometimes you might be the pillar of strength in your relationship and you might actually be giving support to your person. But then at other times, those roles are reversed and your person may be the one that is your pillar of strength, that is your rock, that is your big old mama or papa bear, and that they are there to help you and lift you up, right? And that should be, that is a healthy relationship, right? That back and forth, that give and take. So this is an awesome energy. So perhaps you're getting to that stage in your relationship where you are feeling safe and powerful and protected. This can also represent that there may be some help available for you, some resources that are available for you as well, someone to give you a helping hand, someone to give you a little bit of a leg up. So this can certainly be someone to, um, maybe a friend that can help you uh, turn a dream into reality. Uh, maybe you need to ask for some help in getting something done. All right. Um, this may be a person that maybe operates a little bit behind the scenes. Uh, maybe there's a little bit of a surprise. I'm feeling a little bit of a surprise for somebody uh, out there in the month ahead. Hopefully that's a very exciting surprise for you by the looks of it. All right. So there may be someone there that can give a little bit of help. But if you also have your relationship, sometimes relationships go on their ups and downs, right? It's a natural course of events. And so if that's the case for you, perhaps there's some guidance that you and your person together can seek just to make sure that you're on the same page, um, just to make sure that your lines of communication are open and maybe to sort out some issues or even think about where do we see ourselves going? That imagine energy. Where do you see your relationship going? What do you want for the future? Are you on the same page? Do you see things differently? Um, you know, so sometimes we need a little bit of no, neutral third party advice can sometimes come in um, as very positive. Quite often people um, consider couples therapy and things like that to be a sign of problems or weakness in a relationship. And that can sometimes be the furthest thing from the truth. Um, we all come from different backgrounds. We all have different experiences and we all ha are different people. And so sometimes there's love, there's a connection, there's passion in a relationship. And we really like being around our person and we see a lot of potential. And sometimes just going to uh, like couples counseling or something can really um, put you in a really good place and set you up for future success, right? Those things that we learn right then and there. So, you know, it's, it's one of those things where we need to kind of change the perception of those kind of activities. So 
Um, I don't know who needs to hear that, but apparently somebody, okay, because that's not usually the message that I quite get out from that car, um, but it is one today, okay. But we do also have community here as well. So we've got a lot of help and support that's available here for you. So perhaps you are spending time with um, friends, family, loved ones, okay. You may have a celebration, and that may be a celebration from your relationship. Or perhaps you are just getting out and you're meeting people. Uh, you're all at different stages of your relationship. Some of you haven't known your person for very long. Others of you, you've been together for a number of months. Others of you, it's like, yeah, you, the new beginnings are way behind us in the rear view mirror. But So for that community energy, you might be at that stage in your relationship where you're meeting each other's family, their friends. Uh, you're getting a good sense of belonging. That community card really is about a good sense of belonging, not just within your relationship with your person, but also with the environment and the other people that are around you. With the community card, you could be attending some events um, as well, okay, and, uh, you know, again, mingling and just feeling really good. Okay, but again, there may be some help that is available for you. Perhaps you're enlisting some resources and uh, to help you turn a dream into reality. So um, maybe you're planning a, a party, a get together. Maybe you're planning a wedding and you're like, oh my God, I need some help here, people. Okay, so if think if you need help, if you need assistance, guidance or advice, I think it's really all available for you this month. So let's see what other energy that we've got coming for you guys in the month ahead here. What do we need to know, please, for Scorpio? Messages, please. Messages. Month ahead, please. Love, love, love. We've got the Knight of Cups. Well, that's a beautiful energy right off the bat. We like to see that. We've got the Devil. Okay, we don't like to see that one. We'll work through that, not to worry. Uh, we've got the Knight of Swords and the Four of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles. Very nice, very nice. And let's see, we've got the Ace of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, and we've got the Ten of Cups in reverse there as well. Alrighty, so uh, the bottom of the deck actually, we've got the Ace of Pentacles, okay? So when we have something at the bottom of the deck here, uh, well, the Aces for one are quite often a sign of manifestation. Uh, the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck can certainly represent uh, new levels of commitment. Okay, it can represent um, things in materializing in your material world. Okay, so, um, you know, like uh, things like um, offers, okay, uh, rings, maybe. Okay, but there could also be some help or support in regards to money and finances there as well. The Ace of Pentacles quite often, um, new and improved uh, situations around your commitment or around your home, okay, things like that, something that is very tangible, something that you can touch and feel. So at the bottom of the deck, this is providing an underlying influence or motivation. can also be something that's a bit of a surprise, okay, new beginning, fresh start, the next level, um, and can also represent something sometimes with this particular one, um, sometimes something that is materializing but may come in next month, okay? It's on the sidelines, not quite here yet, but it's on the horizon for you. We do have the Ace of Wands in the heart of your reading, okay? So that's a really good sign. We do have the Eight of uh, Pentacles in the reverse, um, you know, so perhaps something, someone's looking for something to be a little bit easier, okay? Uh, something is a little bit challenging, I would say, in the month ahead. Maybe there's some uncertainty. Um, with all of the Pentacles coming out, um, with all the pentacles coming out and that eight of pentacles being in the reverse, there may be some financial issues that are coming up in the month ahead for you. Okay. Um, I think that you have the ability to get things back on track. Okay. Or there's maybe some help that is available for you as well. Okay. But there's something a little bit challenging that needs to be worked through. All right. So that ace of wands can quite often represent that new beginning, that fresh start can be infusing fresh passion into a relationship there as well. 
Okay, um, it can be that fresh start, that wiping the slate clean, perhaps. Okay, so because there's certainly something um, that mm, may come to an no, I wouldn't say it necessarily coming to an end, but may just be um, not quite as there's maybe a little bit of disappointment that does come in here. Um, something that's not quite happy. So again, um, you know, again, that's might be why it was, you know, maybe that's why with the leg up energy for some of you, that's why some counseling or something like that may have been coming up there. Okay. Or at least help from the community. Okay. There may be something here that is just causing a little bit of an issue with that double card. Okay. Um, For some of you, I think that for some of you, I think you may be on a slightly different wavelength in a certain aspect. Others of you, I think there's just some issues that can be resolved. The Knight of Cups um, that's here, this is your line here. The Knight of Cups represents what you want love and romance and happiness maybe you're waiting for maybe you're really wanting a proposal an apology even okay uh with that knight of cups you're looking to move forward okay maybe a clean slate a fresh slate all right or maybe you're looking forward to something uh exciting okay but your person what they want they have the devil card so they could just be obsessing over the future plain and simple there may be something here that they really do want to, um, and maybe they want to resolve, okay? The devil card is Capricorn energy with the devil card here. And the, Cap the, the devil card quite often does come out when we're stuck on something, when we are focused on the wrong thing. Uh, when we've got some bad habits, behaviors, that kind of thing. So it could be that your person... Um, is looking to break free out of some bad habits, okay, or to resolve some challenges within a relationship. Now, this could also have to do something with family um, because we do have a Ten of Cups here, which quite often does represent something within the family unit, okay? So um, perhaps there is something there. There may be some issues or maybe there's uh, something that um, they really desire and uh, I'm seeing a lot of money. Okay, so maybe there's some money that is creating a little bit <clears throat> of an issue somewhere along the way. And it may have to do with something in the family, but it may also be a job. Okay. Um, uh, sometimes, in the, sometimes in relationships, we don't necessarily always um, focus on love and romance. Sometimes day-to-day -day life really does come in. Okay, so, um, you know, so sometimes uh, we do need to focus on our material world, right? The house, the home, um, career path, right? Someone may be cho uh, changing a career path or they may um, be, yeah, interesting, um, making a bit of a career change. And this is creating some challenging energy there with that devil energy, okay? They want something, they're looking to break free of one situation, okay? And maybe try a different way of doing things. And we've got that here with that eight of wands, or sorry, the eight of pentacles in reverse, 10 of cups. Maybe they're not happy in their environment right now. And the ace of wands, they're looking for something new. Quite often, um, the wands energy can quite often represent uh, the career path, right? The money, the finances that are coming in here with the pentacles, um, maybe playing a key role. Okay. There could also be some disparity, um, in regards to finances, right? Um, you know what you want, uh, maybe you're dreaming of something with that knight of cups. Okay. He's imagining, imagining something, right. You're creating something wonderful and maybe your person over here is, you know, really not necessarily on board. So if you were to think in practical terms, if you were to think of, let's say, let's say you're planning um, uh, a celebration of some kind, you might have all of these grand ideas, okay? Um, and your person is like, we cannot afford that. That's costing too much money. So they may be, every time you bring up an idea, they might be like, no, like we can't afford it. Or, you know, so they might be... Um, 
uh, playing a devil's advocate a little bit, okay? They might just be really, um, you know, being a little bit negative at this point too. But I think here with this devil card, um, what they want is, you know, maybe I got to say, because for some of you, again, you're all in different stages of your relationship, right? Some of you have just started dating. And I'm going to say that this probably message is for those of you who are just getting to know your person. You might be looking for love and romance, Knight of Cups. Your person may be looking for a physical connection. Because that devil in regards to love and romance can just be uh, the fling. Okay, something that's just short term, something without a lot of emotion. Okay, um, you know, think of like, you know, friends with benefits kind of scenario. Okay, that kind of thing. Or just something that is, you know, um, slam bam, thank you, ma'am. Okay, um, so you may have a little bit of different energy that's coming in there. That may That's probably not going to be for all of you, but if that's the case for some of you, you might have to have a really important conversation about that. You may be able to get things on track. Okay, you might be able to change your circumstances in that regard. Um, but if not, then you may need to uh, put up some very healthy boundaries in uh, with that connection there. Okay, we're not all looking for love and romance. And sometimes you do just need uh, a good old, quite honestly, romp in the hay. All right, um, because that devil card can bring about some excitement and some passion. Okay. And maybe that's what your person wants as well. Some more passion and excitement within the relationship, within the connection, especially if things have gotten, um, a little bit stagnant. Okay. Uh, the devil card is about seduction and temptation. Yes. It can also be about attachment it can also come in, bring in some, um, negative energy, right? But when we're talking about what your person wants, they may want to break free from something that has been causing them grief, okay? Something that's maybe preoccupying their time. But they may want a little bit more passion um, in the relationship, okay? Um, maybe they feel as though some things have gotten a little bit stale, okay? Or a little bit boring, or maybe you've gotten off track, right? We don't always focus on love and romance and, um, you know, uh, sex, let's face it, every single day, okay? So maybe your person just they want some, they, you know, they want some physical loving. Okay. Um, so that might be something to keep in mind. So this could be something that if the differences are too big, okay, we do have an ace of wands here. It's like, okay, I got to give it up. All right. And I'm looking for something a little bit better. So if it's too far apart and there's no uh, common ground, okay, it's probably an important conversation here. Um, then you may have that opportunity or there may be something better for you out there um, after you resolve this situation. But this could also be where that leg up energy um, really does come into play, okay, or the community energy there as well. So there may be some help, some guidance, some support. Perhaps there's some communication issues going on here. Just because the devil card shows up does not necessarily mean um, that uh, your relationship is doomed. Remember, this is a snapshot in time. This is August. Okay, and you know, so maybe your person is trying to make some decisions, okay, or there's just some external um, issues and influence that are going on there um, with that card, okay? So you might have some help and guidance and support that can help you um, make some better decisions or some better choices along the way. But because the devil card here um, can represent obsession, and we do have two aces and the imagination card can be about manifesting your idea, manifesting something that you've been dreaming about into reality. Okay. The devil card here could be something that your person really, really, really desires and they're obsessing over. All right. So they could be obsessing over a new job, some money. Okay. Um, you know, those kind of, uh, those kind of things that can really come in. And so that might be something that they're working through. They might be working through some personal issues as well. Okay. With that devil card, their shadow side, bad habits. Okay. Maybe they're really wanting to make better choices. All right. So, uh, devil card, things get complicated. Things get interesting when the devil card does show up. Okay. Um, maybe they're just determined to get what they want. Okay. That may be it. That may be it too. Okay. But I think what you need is a conversation. The Knight of Swords is uh, really one of action, but also communication. 
So perhaps your, you know, as we were saying earlier with the light, with the leg up energy here, perhaps some of you, your communication skills may need honing a little bit. Okay. But what they need is for pentacles, they need stability and security, especially in their, in their commitment, their home and their work life. So again, there may be something here that is coming in that is causing a little bit of grief or stress in regards to money, finances, um, career. And you know, let me tell you, if there is a money situation, okay, the devil energy with the four of pentacles there could be that somebody is either a little bit miserly with money, okay, um, to the point of obsession. Okay. Or they may have some really bad habits, really bad spending habits there. Okay. And uh, maybe they're trying to make some improvements in that regard. Okay. But the four of pentacles does bring in a good, strong, solid foundation, and it does bring in the need for more. And again, that devil energy is the things that we want that we desire sometimes, right? But the things that can quickly get out of control or that we really do um, obsess over, okay? So certainly uh, maybe some issues there in that regard. You might really need to have some conversation about that, that Knight of Swords, right? Communication may be the key for you. Making a plan may be the key for you. Taking action and moving past some issues may be the key for you there with what you need with that Knight of Swords energy, okay? So maybe you'd really do need to have um, a conversation about your level of commitment, Okay, about something that is taking over your life a little bit. Okay, something that is causing a little bit of grief. All right, and communication really is that key for you. Um, you might want your, you might need your person to um, step up to the plate um, because that Four of Pentacles is where we, you know, really get to a level of stability and security. But we, there's also the um, ability to have more, right? To move on from that, okay? But sometimes we can get a little bit stuck in that four of pentacles energy, right? Um, maybe there's something that your person is keeping close to their chest, okay? Being a little bit protective about, okay? Um, there could be some elements of trust that come in here. So um, maybe there's something you need to talk about, about trust, okay? Because the devil energy would bring in uh, some uncertainty there. Okay. A little bit of mistrust maybe. All right. Um, but you know, but sometimes that's temporary, right? Sometimes that we can always break out of the devil energy. Okay. We can always break free. We need boundaries and perspective. So again, um, you know, we don't want something to fester. So your needs here with the Knight of Swords is we need to get something out in the open. We need to discuss things. We need to talk about things. And we need to, um, you know, be able to make some decisions as well. That Knight of Swords can be about making decisions. Okay, so there might be some important decisions that need to get made um, and some conversations that need to be had. Okay, and the Knight of Swords usually brings in something really, really quick. Okay, so maybe there is um, an imminent need for a conversation. Okay, the sense of urgency, if you will. Okay, um, you might be the type of person where you want to talk about things right now, but your person maybe is the type of person that kind of keeps things a little bit quiet and they take their time, right? They don't want to talk about problems right when they arise. They need to sort things out in the background on their own, okay? Because that devil energy could bring in stubbornness as well, okay? So there may be something there to work through. But with the Knight of Swords, okay, we can use this sword to break the chains that bind us with the devil card, okay? So again, communication may unlock um, the potential of your relationship, may release some um, negativity, and may get something out in the open, <clears throat> you see your person as possibly somebody that you can commit to for the long term, but you may also be see your person as somebody who is a good provider um, and someone who can really make, you can really make a good life with, okay? But you may also see them as somebody who is very goal-oriented. The Queen of Pentacles as an energy is someone open and receptive, but also somebody who is... Um, uh, they're a little bit of a nester. Yes. Okay. But also someone who nurtures their goals and dreams. 
So when in regards to the pentacles energy, again, this could be something to do with money, finances, career, okay? Something to do with the home even as well, all right? There may be some issues in um, on the home front, okay? It could be something as simple, quite honestly. It could be something as simple as you want to redecorate the house and they say no, Okay, um, but I think here that you might see that person as someone that's a good provider. They're focused on their goals, okay, goal-oriented. Um, but I think you see your person as someone who is really quite caring and kind and loving, and but very practical as well at the same time. Okay, so it could be that we're just dealing with um, a rocky patch. It could be that we're just dealing with maybe some family issues with the Ten of Cups there, okay, or some temporary bump in the road, Okay, uh, something that needs communication, boundaries, perspective. All right, they see you as the jackpot. Okay, now I have to say with the nine of pentacles on some level, um, they may see you as um, the nine of pentacles is a very independent energy. It's one of success. Okay, it's one where we are living in the lap of luxury. So again, they may be... They may be miserly with money, okay? With that, they may be a little cautious with finances and you might uh, splurge a little bit because the Nine of Pentacles is where we splurge. It's where we're living the good life. It's where we've accomplished some things and we're in a good place and now we treat ourselves, okay? So again, there may be a little disparity um, with money and finances somewhere along there, okay? Um, they may consider you as being a little bit frivolous with money, okay? Or maybe you spend too much, all right? And this could certainly be a source of contention between two people. But I think also the Nine of Pentacles, they view you also in a relatively positive light, just like you view them relatively positively with the Queen of Pentacles, Okay, practical, stable, committed, all right? Um, they might see you as having a very independent spirit, but they may also see you in this regard as you have answers and you've got a really positive outlook and you've got a really positive attitude with that nine of pentacles, okay? Um, they may be they may um, view you as, you know, we I've hit the jackpot a little bit, all right? Um, you know, but again, um, if you are... In a situation where perhaps, you know, you might be in something for the short term, okay, we do have a little bit of uh, disparity in that energy there as well. Maybe, um, you know, they could view you as someone who's very independent, maybe someone who doesn't necessarily want a long-term commitment. Those of you who haven't known your person for too long, when in actuality, you might be starting to develop feelings on a situation that maybe was not meant to go that route, okay? So again, that might be something that you need to talk about with your person, all right? But again, the energy that is between you, okay? This is the energy that can bind you together or it's one or it's energy that can cause challenges, all right? The Ten of Cups in reverse, normally the Ten of Cups in the upright, one of the happiest cards in the deck, okay? In reverse, it can still represent um, that there is some happiness, but maybe some delays in regards to that. But because this is a happy ever after card, and it does um, quite often deal with your family and your environment, okay? Um, very um, uh, A lot of emotions. There may be some family issue that's here, there may be some issues around the home, okay? There could be something that you're just not happy about, okay, and that you need to sort through, all right? But something that has the potential to be really positive, okay? Um, so again, some upsets, some discords, some disagreements, and um, with the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse, usually the Eight of Pentacles is one of, you know, mastering something, okay, of working really hard for something, um, working towards your goals, okay, so perhaps um, with the eight of pentacles in reverse and they, your person views you in this nine of pentacles, perhaps your person is viewing you as somebody who, um, you know, they may be able to make a good life with, okay, um, something that maybe just dropped in their lap that they didn't quite have to work super hard for maybe, Okay, but I do feel a sense of loss here with that Eight of Pentacles reversed. This can indicate some limitations, 
But this also, I am seeing a little bit of a workaholic energy. Okay, um, with the double card there, the eight of pentacles, usually the eight of pentacles, the upright, right? You're working hard, you're loving what you're doing, you're living your best life. Okay, but the eight of pentacles in reverse with that double energy could represent somebody who is a little bit of a workaholic. Okay, there may be their work, their career defines them. All right, and that may not be the healthiest habit to be in. Okay, that could be you, it could be them. All right. Um, you know, but there is some financial security that's in here. Okay. Maybe you're financially secure and, uh, they might not be feeling that. Okay. But, uh, yeah, some, there's some money, some commitment, um, and, uh, some career issues that are going on here, I think. Okay. So, um, they may be minor for some of you. They may not be huge. Okay. But again, that ace of pentacles that's there, not to mention the ace of wands, Whatever you've got going on, there is an ability and there's an um, opportunity here to find something new, to find a better way, to breathe fresh life into your relationship, okay, to reconnect, to take something to the next level, all right, or to try something a little bit different. The Ace of Pentacles is um, an energy that comes in here from manifestation, and it is either new or, <clears throat> excuse me, new or improved, all right, certainly brings about some wonderful positive vibes, a good resolution to things, okay, getting things on track, but it is one of taking action, okay, um, the Ace of Wands is very action-oriented, um, new sources of inspiration to create things, a new way of doing things, all right, but again, this go-getter um, kind of energy, and we've got that coming in with that Knight of Swords, okay, so time may be of the essence to clear the air, to get things back on track, to resolve some problems, all right, you're only really, really problem card that is coming out here is the devil card there. Okay. And, um, and again, I think maybe that there is some workaholic energy. There may be some issues around your finances. Okay. Something that maybe someone's even trying to break bad habit that can be there as well. All right. And, um, you know, trying to turn over a new leaf. Um, if you will. But don't forget, we do have two aces coming in here, which is awesome. We do have some support. Maybe we actually have some meddling with the Ten of Cups in reverse and the community card. Okay, it's a little bit of an opposing. Usually the community card is actually really quite positive. Okay, but with that Ten of Cups in the reverse, um, there's uh, maybe a little bit of meddling energy there. And perhaps that's where some boundaries need to get put up. Okay, so I think you can resolve your issues, whatever they happen to be, because uh, the way you and your person view each other is, for the most part, fairly positive. Um, if you do have a difference in spending habits, um, or maybe there's some, uh, maybe there's some challenges because the nine of pentacles is financial independence quite often. And if your person is not feeling secure in what they bring to the table, that's where we can get, um, you know, upsets the apple cart a little bit. All right. But again, with the leg up energy, sometimes one person is in the position of strength and power and supports their person through tough times. And then sometimes the roles are reversed. So this could be that, you know, at this current moment, maybe you are helping and supporting your person through a challenging time. And this might just cause them some grief. They might not like it. Maybe there's some pride that gets in the way with that devil energy, right? Our low vibe energies. Perhaps it's a bruised ego could come in there too, but they would help you, Queen of Pentacles, you see them as someone that they would help you if they're in the same position. So uh, I'm going to leave that there, okay? We're going to leave that with the aces, okay? Leave that with the aces and the leg up, all right? But let's get your last couple of cards here. So there is your first one, a, a sea of blessings, excellent. The universe is a projection from within you and you are a projection of the universe. You are a vast space and yet you are spaceless. You are a divine ocean of love, a sea of blessings. You are the wind of change that flows through life, okay? No matter what, you are blessed, okay? And your final message there, the, the blessing of endless possibility, excellent. Allow your inner child to be the master for a while and don't take things too seriously. Have fun and explore the world of endless possibility. Something wonderful is created through imagination and innocence. Huh. What are you imagining? Ace of Wands. What are you imagining? Ace of Pentacles. What are you imagining? 
with the Imagine card. All right, use your imagination. There we go. I'm going to leave that there for you guys. I hope there was something here that resonated with you on some level. If there was, please don't forget to hit like on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, I thank you so very much for watching. Um, I hope you do have a great month ahead. You've got some very positive cards here. A couple of challenges here and there, but um, I think you will overcome them. All right, so have a great month ahead. I thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.